Have you thought about investing into real estate rentals? Of course. 10 to 30% annual returns in HELOC to infinite banking strategy combined hard money rehabs plus velocity banking plus HELOC to infinite ba 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 equals my next strategy. Hey man, not against you. You know what this money is on the board? Remember, look at my income. I only talked about what I'm doing with $70,000. Look at my numbers. 30,000 or more a month, 20,000 a month in cash flow or more. I only talked about 70 grand. That's all I talked about. What I'm doing with $70,000 of what I make in a year. That 70,000 is bills, my friend, and money that I save. It's not money that I invest. This looks like an investment, right? It's not really. Okay, a true investment is back into myself, which is the machine. It's feeding me. Now, if I showed you what I was doing with the other money, oh, oh, that's a different story. That's for a different video, for a different time. So I'm with you, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Naughty. I'm with you. Real estate investing rentals, love it. Multifamily, love it. Fix and flip, love it. The Burr method, love it. I will do it, I promise you. I'm 25 years old though, so you gotta give a brother a second to learn his craft. Peaceful Mind says, how do you obtain a business credit to fund a real estate deal? I would look up the OG Grant Cardone. I'd look up Uncle G. That's who I would look up to learn about that. And I would talk to Sebastian Boyer, who's in the house, uh, who commented earlier. You can reach out to him by clicking the link in the description below called Build, Establish, and Fund, right? Business Credit. You'll see it in the description. It says Build Business Credit here. That's Sebastian. Been working with him for two plus years now. I like his work. He's a good guy. Kingdom guy. Cool. Just looking for ways to increase my income. My income is pretty much a nine to five. So just trying to see what might be another source of income. I'd like to get into real estate, but I'm thinking that might be down the road. Just looking for something to increase my income to give me to uh, get me there quicker. All right, like the idea. Like the idea, Mike. So over there, we got Mike over there, over here, All right? So Mike, there's a lot of money on the table, literally. There's a lot of money on the table in content creator. A lot of money. Influencer. Okay. There's a lot of money on the table there. Are you willing to get in front of the camera? Yes or no? Make a decision. Yes, great. YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, go. Have fun. Not willing to get in front of the camera? Okay. You got Clubhouse, you got podcasts, you got blogging, writing content posting pictures, not your pictures, business photos. Hey, no excuse. So either you get behind the, get in front of the camera, get behind the camera, your choice. But content creation, influencer, great route. Now, a more Grant Cardone approach, Uncle G, a more 10X approach is sales, my friend, sales, speaking. Communication. If you get these skills, sales, speaking, communication, follow up, networking. Hope you're taking notes, buddy. This right here is a 10X approach. Let me go sell something instead of buying. How do I convert from consumer 
to creator, to provider, to sustainer, influencer, right? That's my little spiel. So a couple different options, right? You can, and then there's a, you know, this is what everybody else says. You got the side gigs, right? So in addition to your nine to five, could you, I don't know, Uber, Lyft, Amazon, uh, you know, the second job, right? Side, side gig, side hustles. So there's, there's that. Then there's straight up, go sell a product. What is something that I buy or that I know people buy that I can get paid for? Can I hook up with another company, right? Can I, can I jump to a different company? So that would be the other thing is Mike says he's currently at a nine to five job. Well, can you find a higher paying job? Does that exist? Can you get a promotion where you're currently at? Can you, can you rank up where you're currently at? Are you, you know, did you hit your peak? Um, you know, where are we at? So we are at the two hour mark. Is this information helpful to you? Let me know in the comments. Are you enjoying yourself? Are you getting value from this? Are you saying, okay, step one, step two, step three, this is what I'm gonna go do, all right. Some of the stuff Denzel said was what? way over my head. Others are like, yo, that's right there, that's for me. And then there's the in-between, I don't know, I'm not ready. Uh, let me do my debt snowball, let me transition to velocity banking, then upgrade to infinite banking, and then maybe we'll talk crypto. You know, so wherever you're at, I'm with you. Been with my credit union since August and started my credit June 2020. I'm at 731 TransUnion FICO. Should I apply for a line of credit and for how much? I have a little over 6K in a checking account. James, you need to know your four major numbers. I would reach out to Brittany Green on personal credit. She can give you a little evaluation. Okay. We want to look. Have you applied for anything recently in the past? How many, excuse me, how many inquiries do you have still reporting? On your credit report what's your credit behavior in 2021 credit bureaus are starting to look at credit behavior right so it's not just about the score credit behavior have you done your homework on the line of credit that you're applying for have you opened up a checking account with that bank have you built a relationship with that bank are you do you have direct deposit set up with that bank right are you holding your 6,000 at that bank that you wanna apply for the personal line of credit. So take a look at some of my videos on how to get a personal line of credit. And then I would, another layer of protection and security would be to talk to someone that does credit repair, credit building, Brittany Green, click the link below, she'll help you out. She's fantastico, fantastico, okay? Let's say I want to start off with 6,000 a year and eventually 10X my income and want to put more in. Is that possible or would I need a new policy and new test for it? Correct. So I'll give you a prime example, James. Prime example. Hopefully that was helpful, Mike, and that you took notes. If you didn't, you snooze or you lose. All right, so um, James, question, right? So me personally, uh, back in 2018, here were my numbers, right? I was making 2000 a month, spending 1500 a month, cash flow 500 bucks, 20 to 30,000 in debt. I started a policy putting in 500 a month, right? So that's literally 6000 a year. 500 a month, right? Then roughly less than one year later, I 10 x went from 2000 to 20,000, right? Quarter million in revenue. So I was like, damn, that's a small policy. What do I do now? Well, I started a second one and now I'm putting in 70 grand a year. So I don't think there's a problem there. If you are not 25, 35, 
45, 55. Let's say you're in your 60s. This is your one and only policy you're probably gonna get. Let's just say that's you, you're in your later years. And you know, listen, you know, my health ain't all that great. Um, what you could do is create extra space and that goes back to the split designs, right? So instead of a 90-10 split, what if you did an 80-20? or 75, 25, you create more space to add more money into your policy as you increase your income. That is an option. Are you gonna have as much cash value up front? No, because you're gonna have a higher premium cost to supply that ability to add more money, okay? So that's one option that you could do, is just create more space in the policy, create more space, create you know, a higher mech. Now, the other option is let's say you are wife, right? Wife got a policy, wife starts killing it, making more money, 10X is her income. Okay, put a policy on husband. Still making a ton of money, okay. Put a policy on kids. I call this kingdom preparation, kingdom perpetual uh, plan is where instead of putting a second policy on the wife, she gets husband hooked up, then she gets the kids, and then maybe brother, sister, maybe mom, dad. She starts putting policies on all the kingdom citizens in her kingdom. And then after she's taken care of everyone, then she comes back to her and puts another one and just restarts the cycle. So that could be an option, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm not... You know, I don't put all my money in IBC, as you can see, right? From what I showed you earlier, I don't put all my money in IBC, so. Okay, William Johnson, yes, the market bubble will likely burst sooner rather than later. I'm sitting on lots of cash, that's why infinite banking is great, earning interest while sitting on that cash. Absolutely right, I agree with that. I like not knowing, right? It's, it's okay to not know something and to be patient, like Warren Buffett style. He's patient, he reads companies, he studies them, and the right opportunity, he goes in big. Not no dollar cost averaging crap, he goes big, in big, because he did all his research. People that dollar cost average, they're just, you know, you don't know, so you're just, you know, all right, all right, just throw a little over here, I don't care what happens, I'm in it for the long term. That's a great strategy too. If you don't have the time to be spending on that, if your time is focused on building your business, you know, I get the whole idea of putting a little bit off to the side. But me, personally, I like to put all my energy into 10X and then have the luxury of saying, all right, I'll buy some gold and silver. All right, I'll buy some crypto. All right. We'll get that HSA account and the Roth and a couple stocks, some dividend paying stocks, some index funds. All right, play around with the options and the Forex. All right, you know, but the machine is the most important thing. What are they doing to build wealth?